Hello, my name is Marty Robbins, and I'm going to show MicroStation Connect Edition Scan Criteria Extension using Visual Studio 2015 and C Sharp. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project. Change that. I'm going to add in command, and I'm going to call this Scan Elements. item go to Bentley and code and I'm just going to do a class and I want to call it scan just, just scan the difference between this class and your typical Visual Studio C sharp class is that this is going to give me the ability to add it to the key in command. Uh, so add, add item to key in. Okay. Okay. Now this is the scan.cs file. Um, and you can see that the Bitly namespaces is included here. And I don't need a constructor for this example. So I'm just going to use that to begin the scan. Then I'm going to go to the key and commands.cs where this is located at. And I'm going to type um, scan. Begin scan, and I'm going to say unparsed. For the first part of this, I do not need that, but I'm going to put it in here because I'm going to need it later. Okay. So scan and see this. Now I'm going to use this in conjunction with a um, snippets. So let me show that real quick. Um, Call snippet manager. So we should have a C sharp, we should have Bentley Connect C sharps, or and, and Bentley Connect, MicroStation, and we have some snippets here. Uh, I'm going to actually use, use some of these snippets. Uh, if you do not, this non, does not come in and install correctly, uh, contact me and i give you a link to where you can get the actual snippets and then you can install them manually. Okay, so I'm going to be using some snippets. I'm going to do all my snippets for MicroStation Connect Edition. We'll start with a prefix of MSCE to try to organize that. So and I'm going to do an element processor to process the elements. Okay. Um, then as for the set element properties, to MSCE set set element properties and this is the default code for this which you can change at will um, then I'm going to do MSCE parse type name so we could parse For the first example, I, I actually don't need this. Well, for the first part of this, I do not need this. But let's set it up. <clears throat> okay. In the element processor, say if set element properties, which is where I'm going to get the element properties. element element 
replacement replace in model element so if I can get this to be true this will happen we let place in model See, I think that might be it for this first part. Oh, one more thing. I need, in the begin scan, which I'm going to initiate. I'm going to type in. Um, I get the DGN model, BD. DGN model. Uh, oh. DGN model. DGN. So we're going to get the DGN model from the active DGN model. Okay. Now we can use another snippet inside uh, scan criteria. So to give me default code for that. Now this needs to be the scan criteria extension. That's what it's looking for. So. We're going to add scan criteria extension. Okay, let's close that. Go over here. Okay, now in the first attempt here, this is just going to send in the array, array of MS element type, and there's only one in here for line. I could put more than one in here, but for now, let's just do that. I can build it, see if I have any errors. Okay, good. Now I want to try to test it. I'm going to bring up a DGN model for this test. Uh, it has four. Um, line uh, elements in it because uh, I have a line string, a line, a circle, or an ellipse, and an arc. So I can test the app. Now, other than that, <clears throat> I'm not doing any other kind of testing for other kind of uh, elements such as text or anything like that. So I have to be aware of that at this point so element scan test let's go into that one Okay, so I got the line string, the line, the circle, or ellipse, and the arc. Um, so I'm going to go to the MDL applications, browse, and go to scan elements. That was the application. Loaded. Scan elements. Key in. And scan. Let's go and get this. Oops. Okay. Uh, so I had it on default. So I, this is actually working off of um, the level up here. So if I change that to shrub here in the green, 
now if I hit scan here, there we go, it changes to gray. So if I change this again to something other, ground cover, and I get that. So that's it for that. Nothing else is changing. I'm not telling it to change anything else. Okay. I could add additional. element uh, type let's say arc let's go ahead and do the arc now of course this is hard coded and this is not really what you want to do uh, I'm going to debug that Element scan criteria, or element scan test. Let's change this to red. That's something damp red. Now, and both changes. So, and that's it. Now we're going to change it up a little bit. <coughs> I'm actually not going to use this. I'm going to change it up here. I'm adding the element instead of sending this array through. I'm actually going to change it up to be a little bit in an if statement here. I'm just going to if unparsed, I'm going to send up uh, from the command line or right, from the key in command equals and then when I okay and here I'm going to change this to convert the the string into a an element array. So parse type name unparsed. So if you use this, we'll go to the definition down here. Is that going to take that? Unparse string of that uh, key and command and parse it and uh, give your array of MS element types back. So, okay, let's uh, build this and debug.
Let's scan, test. First, I'm going to change it. The line. So it's going off the key and command here and sending line through. And there's the circle. Line string. And arc. Okay. And that's it. Uh, if we send all, let me see if it works correctly. Change it to green. Let me take the line and let me take the line out. All turns. Red. Red. Um, the properties you see the level is temp shape and level is 10 color by level line strings 10 3 and the rate is 2 okay that's it and thank you for watching uh one note i like to uh, uh give credit to what credit is due so Say special thanks to John Summers at LA Solutions for his contribution to um, providing the scan criteria extension. Thank you.